the sun was setting over the city, casting a warm golden light over the busy streets. Michael was walking home from work, his mind occupied by the day's events. He was a detective in the city's police department and had just solved a complex case involving a string of robberies in the downtown area. As he walked, he noticed a man walking a few paces ahead of him, clutching a small, nondescript bag close to his chest. Something about the man's behavior seemed off to Michael, and he felt a twinge of suspicion. He quickened his pace to get a closer look. The man was tall and thin, with greasy black hair and a scruffy beard. He was wearing a stained and tattered coat, and he kept glancing over his shoulder, as if he was worried that someone was following him. Michael felt a sense of unease as he watched the man turn down a dark alley. Without thinking, Michael followed him. As he entered the alley, he was met with a wall of darkness, the only light coming from a flickering street lamp at the far end. He took a few steps forward, and suddenly, he was tackled from behind. He hit the ground hard, the air knocked from his lungs, he heard a faint whisper in his ear, don't move. If you value your life, don't move. The man's breath was hot and rancid against his skin. Michael felt the cold metal of a gun pressed against the back of his head. H.T. was frozen, not daring to move a muscle. The man took the bag from Michael's hands and started to back away, still keeping the gun trained on Michael. He was about to turn and run when a voice rang out from the end of the alley. Please, put down your weapon, the man spun around, looking for an escape. Michael saw his chance and sprang into action. He tackled the man, knocking the gun from his hand. They tumbled to the ground, grappling for the weapon. The man was stronger than he looked, and Michael found himself struggling to keep the gun out of his grasp. Just as he was about to lose the fight, the police arrived, and the man was taken into custody. Michael was shaken but unharmed. He later learned that the man was a notorious thief who had been on the run for months. The bag he had been carrying contained stolen jewels, worth millions of dollars. Michael was hailed as a hero, and his reputation as a detective was cemented. He was proud of what he had done, but he couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the story. He felt like he was missing something, that there was more to the theft than what was being reported. He began to investigate on his own, using his skills and knowledge as a detective. He discovered that the theft was part of a larger operation involving a network of thieves and corrupt officials. The more he dug, the more he realized that the case was far from over. He found himself being followed, receiving threatening phone calls, and receiving anonymous notes warning him to back off. He knew that he was getting close to the truth, and he was determined to see it through to the end. The climax of the story came one night as Michael was staking out the thief's hideout. He was armed with his knowledge of the case and his wits, ready to take down the thieves and bring them to justice. As he approached the hideout, he heard a sound coming from inside,